quest side. Across Mitaboro's sense just right up there. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, no problem. I got this, don't even worry about it. My official is insane. <clears throat> is your official insane? Is this really the right place? Um, there's nothing here but a shipwreck. Oh, oh Mitaboro had better not be lying to us. Hmm. Guess it's time to go back and ask our friend a couple of questions. We're seriously going to go back. Are you kidding? Oh, he's over there. Meet Tiro. How did it go? Did you find anything valuable? No. Uh, meet Boru. Hmm. Meet Boru. Fucking bit. Okay. There's nothing on this island except for a shipwreck. What kind of intuition is that? What? No. Impossible! Ah! I know. It must be because I've been sleeping for too long, and my intuition is not as sharp as it once was. Uh... As the saying goes, nobody's perfect, and certainly no boat's perfect either, right? Cut me a little slack, huh? The next place will be the one. I'm sure the next place will be full of treasure. It better be. No more playing tricks on us this time. You have my word. But, um... The next place is a little far away. And I'm not sure of the precise location. All I know is that... It's somewhere northwest of here. You motherfucker. But there are so many islands in the northwest! Oh, you gotta give us a little more than that! Wait a minute. If you mean one of the larger islands, there are only two of them in the Northwest. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do sense the cawing of ravens coming from over there. But not just the sound of ravens, no. There be music as well. Okay, it's that island. To be precise, the cawing is coming from the east, and the music is coming from the southwest. So, you're hearing two sounds? Ugh. Where could this darn treasure be? But where can you hear the sounds from both islands at the same time? Oh, you're right! Yep, that's exactly what Paimon was thinking, too. Ah, then let's go over and take a look. <laughs> you know, I must say, it seems you two are quite close. You bet! We've been on loads of adventures together and found lots of treasure before. Paimon, I, I've met. My, Paimon's like the first person I've ever met. So, like, yeah. And we've been together this entire time for like, what, a couple of years now? Two years? Yeah, two years and a half. Kind of. Wait, is it really? T you, you know what? Never mind. Yeah. Best guide in the whole of Tibet. <sighs> If only I'd been able to speak back when we were sailing on the sea, then maybe I would have been able to communicate with my companions just like you two. You seem to have so much fun together. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> All right, time to find the center location of these two big islands. Mother. All right, mm, mother, mm, sweet Jesus. First, I want to be able to go and look at these little uh, chest areas because there's a couple of them there's one and then there's two one of them is on that giant raft thing. i like to uh take care of <laughs> so just over here hello hello one with wind and cloud order guide you illusion shattered One with nature. All the more valuable for it. Anyways, <clears throat> the other one is over there. Um, I don't suppose I'm going to be swimming to it. And that one I already got, so I can mark it on the map. And call it a day. Very easy, very simple. Mitsuboro would just love about me. Fucking. Oh wait, no, he's over there. I thought this guy was not loyal. I really thought that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Or I could just teleport there. 
Never mind. I think it'd be better if I just. Because we won't have to sail there anyways. Might as well just use it. <coughs> ah, I might as well just use Mitaboru instead. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, whatever, fine. Yep. Going straight on out of here. I'm just gonna go in, beat the shit out of. out of he. And, uh, get in there. Yeah. Where was the other place with the shipwreck? Ah! Why'd the sun move so fast? I'm telling you, yeah, they're right. This world is fake. Come on! I don't have all day. I want to get this done. I want to finish everything. Once everything's finished, then I can relax. But I can't relax because I have to... What is this? Okay. Okay. Mommy, it's a borrow. This is not the place we wanted to go to. <laughs> Jesus. Here we are! This is right in between both islands. There better be some treasure this time. Tell me how to get back. Up. There's a thingy somewhere. As in those clover things that you spin with the Nemo and then you fly up all the way up there. Anyways, give me your chest. I'm gonna slaughter everyone. Okay, who else is here? Um, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> uh huh. When use the lift? I'm going to merc these fools, and I don't think I'm going to have this one here. I think I'm going to have someone else take this spot. It's time to pull the trigger. Mm, I could have had a uh, Chow, but I'm um, gonna take uh... Solidify! Quietly now. Thank 
thank you, thank you. It's all done. This Brings place smile is done. To my face. All right, Mitsuboru, get your shit together. Mitsuboru, there you are. Hello. How did it go? Did you find something? Let me guess. You found a huge, oh, a huge load of nothing. Oh, I dropped the cannonball again, didn't I? Same as last time. Just another shipwreck. Maybe they're parts of your body. We took pictures of them. Take a look. Is this a painting? I didn't know you two could paint so well. Just look at the detail. Down to the smallest blade of grass. It's just like the real thing. We didn't paint this. We took it using a camera. So, it was drawn by a machine, through some high-speed mechanism. So even the mighty pirate ship has never seen a camera before. <laughs> what are you trying to say? It's not like I haven't seen similar things before. It's just like the hell paintings in all of those legends. But anyway, what's that thing in the middle of this picture? That's the shipwreck we found. Take a look. Could it be... Your body? <laughs> ha! Impossible! Where did this sorry ship come from? It's a total wreck! You may not know this, but I'm considered <laughs> as the mightiest pirate ship bad. of the Akodonic fleet. <laughs> My like, home is made Jesus. of the best wood found on oh, Seirai no, Island. The edges of my frame board were refined with folding saws so that the pieces fit together perfectly. Then they were joined together and reinforced with large rivets, making me indestructible. There's no way I could end up like this. But your intuition led us to shipwrecks twice in a row. It's probably because of the special bond between all boats that draws us to one another. Before they huh. run aground, these ships may well have been self-aware, too. The remnants of their spirit is most likely what I sensed. Anyway, this can't be my body. My body's probably docked at a hidden port somewhere in these waters. You'll see. My side panels are painted with the finest lacquer. Arr, what a majestic sight I used to be. Once we find it, you'll realize how different I am from this shipwreck in your picture. That sounds great! We should go for a cruise together sometime. Ah, that's for sure. I can't believe I sensed the wrong thing twice in a row. The lack of maintenance has really taken the wind out of my sails as far as my intuition goes. You have to apply cork once in a while if you want a long-lasting voyage. That goes for people, too. What the heck is caulk? Is it the glue that holds all the parts of the ship together? Ha <laughs> ha! Paimon, you're a funny one, aren't you? No, but you're not that far off. Caulk is the stuff we use to fill the gaps between the planks to stop water from leaking into the ship. It's made of rubber or something. Every once in a while, you gotta caulk the gaps as part of the maintenance. Caulk. Um, just like how Exactly. Yeah. Which reminds me, I got some good rest when you two went on that little adventure. I'm sure I'll be able to sense where the real treasure is now. Third time's the charm. Time to get serious. <clears throat> we'll definitely find now something I'm this serious. time. serious. I'm unsure. Hope so. Me when I'm Anything will Yo, do at this point. Yeah. What's wrong, Piper? Come on. <laughs> you don't sound like you believe me. Anyway, this time I sense something in the southeast on the sea surface. It doesn't feel like something very big, and that raises the chances of it being a small but valuable item. Ha ha ha! Come on, let's go. Fine. <clears throat> Here we go. Where are we going? How far is this place? <clears throat> I was literally right there. Are you kidding? Oh 
my god. <laughs> this guru felt like it should be somewhere around here. I already took that, hmm. so sorry. Could it be this reef? It looks kind of small. Uh, but let's go check it out anyway. Surely you found something this time. Have I finally convinced you of this mighty pirate ship's razor-sharp treasure hunting senses? All there was was a bird's nest. So, yeah, technically there were a couple of eggs, uh, but that was all. Oh. Just, uh, just the two, you say? Really? So this is the valuable treasure you were talking about? Ahem. <clears throat> Paimon, you may not be aware. But the mightier the pirate ship, the longer its voyage at sea, you see. Eventually, the only food available on board is dry fish. At times like this, a couple of bird eggs on a reef nearby can easily become the most valuable treasure to a crew. Mitaboru! Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, uh. fine. But how the heck did I end up sensing eggs? How strange. I swear I sense something. But there's nothing else on the reef. Could it be these two planks? Seems like they were used as a shelter. Hmm. Paimon kind of wonders where they came from. memories, bro. Uh. <laughs> uh, I know where this plank comes from. Traveler, Paimon, what you saw just now was my own memory. It was my first time sailing on the sea after I was built. The crew used greased planks to create a slipway, then launched me into the water. The thing is, it's really hard to control the angle at which the bow launches onto the water. It could very well break if you're not careful, which is why most people choose to launch the ship sideways instead. These two planks, or should I say, these two side panels, they must have been the first parts of my body to make contact with the water. Mitaboru, um, if your side panels are here, does that mean... Maybe I crashed into the reef here and was shattered to pieces long ago. And maybe the sensation I had when I woke up wasn't some kind of treasure-hunting intuition after all, but me responding to my own body. There I was, making fun of that shipwreck, blissfully unaware that I was actually making fun of my own body. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, how embarrassing. I don't know that for sure. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe your body is still in one piece. Yeah, these two planks are probably just... Still at uh, one piece. Um, uh, uh, part of your uh, family the high tree. scenes to the high line. Oh, okay. What relatives? Yup, could share the same roots. Even if it's not, there are loads of shipwrecks around here. These planks probably just belong to one of them. But... I... Uh, thank you. Both of you. By the way, Mitaburu, wasn't there something about your name mentioned in that memory? Do you remember your name now? Oh, it's a pity. But I'm afraid I didn't see much more than you did. I still can't recall my name. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's not too bad. 
You and the Traveler can keep calling me Mitoboru. It's a good name. <laughs> of course it is. Paimon picked it after all. So, Mitoboru, is there anywhere else you want to go? Although I can sense two more places, I fear it will be the same situation as before. No treasures, only some driftwood. It doesn't matter. Arr, but I swore there'd be treasure in this deal for you. Hey, it's okay, Mitaburu. We're friends now. Well, in that case, whether <laughs> it's treasure or not, let's hope you two can find something rather than nothing there. Whatever the booty we take. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Good! Let's go booty to the closer a, location you know, first. Treasure, not the other definition. It's seemingly popular now. But it's fine, it's whatever. Doesn't matter. Go to the place. Here we go. We go in there. <clears throat> Sea foam. Sea foam. Into the wind. Sure enough, no treasure here. Mm. Paimon knows that. Paimon just can't help feeling a little disappointed. That's all. There's a wooden sword here. It looks like a children's toy. Hey! The thing I sensed. Could it be this wooden sword? Surely it couldn't be a wooden sword. I think it actually might be the wooden sword. me timbers i remember now the sea battle between akotomiki and the shogunate and Shogun. then the lightning that came at the end of the battle oh what could it have been what's left of the thunderbird's wrath will blow me down just a fraction of the thunderbird's wrath and yet still so powerful wait but the lightning came from seirai island traveler have you been there do you know what happened to the island after that No. I can't believe it. It was a truly terrible thunderstorm, it was. Ah, I don't have the words to describe the horror of it. We stood up against the Shogunate precisely because we did not want our homeland to be ruled by them. We wanted to protect the people of Seirai Island. We made an enemy of the Shogunate for the sake of Seirai Island. And in the end... Oh, Shrine Maiden. Why... Wait, so that thunderstorm was the reason I... The reason I drifted here. I... I was terribly injured in that storm. My whole body was falling apart. It took all my strength to get here. Aw, Mitaburu. But what about the wooden sword? What does this have to do with it? This wooden sword is made from my broken timber. Zaimon once seized a sword-wielding Magu with his barbed spear. The Magu drifted here with us. The wooden sword was probably crafted by local children, imitating the Magu's sword. The body of the mighty pirate ship that once fought against the Shogunate, now reduced to a children's toy of all things! Arr, my mind is awash with strange and complex feelings. So, Mitaburu... Should we take this with us? After all, it is a part of you. No, 
There's no point taking this no. <laughs> Young scallywags. The little landlubber's got me this time. <sighs> Although it's disappointing now that I remember the truth, somehow I feel relieved too. At least I know what happened. I won't be deceiving myself with my wishful thinking any longer. The only thing I'm worried about now is my old mateys who drifted here with me. I wish I could know how they're doing. Aye, let's hope so. Okay, there's one last place. I can feel it. It's the last piece of my body. God damn it. Motherfucker shit. Motherfucker shit. You want me to go all the way there. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, 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 you son of a bitch. Mm, son of a bitch. Okay. <coughs> all right. All right. All right. Right, just gonna get there, call it a day, while I'm, as I'm doing Abyss and Genshin, and that just flew out. Okay, cool, no worries, it's fine, it's like right there, practically there. Practically. Is the last place somewhere around here? I most sure, the precise... There are a lot of wooden planks on this conch house, but they don't look like what we're after. Oh, could it be the one on the stone? What is it, though? A board nailed onto two wooden strips with a wooden mallet next to it? This is a musical instrument? Uh, can it really make a decent sound? Why don't we try it out first before giving it to Mitoboru? Xylophone. Paimon's pretty sure this instrument hasn't been repaired in a long time. Well, this must be the last fragment of Mitoboru's body. Come on, let's go tell him! You're back! How did it go? Did you find anything? This is indeed my last piece! But what the festering fish bait have they turned me what into this time? Is this? We think it's a musical instrument, but it hasn't been fixed for a while, so you can't really play anything with it. Is that so? Ah, a pity to be sure. Musical instrument. <laughs> I never imagined that my broken body could be used to play music. It makes me think of my old mates. They used to sing when the mood took them. They'd sit by the beach facing the campfire. Hey, what kind of sound does this instrument make? Why don't you give it a try? Uh, it hasn't been caulked for a long time, so it might not sound as good as you're hoping. It doesn't matter. Satisfy my curiosity. Just strike it and see what happens. So, they found a way back. Aye, 
But since I was so badly damaged, it was the most I could do to bring them here. There was no way I could go back with them. Ah, oh, it gladdens me heart to know that they are safe. But I... Even though I said goodbye to them, I still can't help thinking, what if I could have gone back with them? Oh, how I wish we had returned together. With them, I would have been willing to go anywhere, no matter how dangerous. There are so many grand adventures for us to go on. So many treasures out there in the world waiting for us to discover them. Why did I have to be left here abandoned like this? I could do nothing but watch them leave and embark on a new journey without me. I... I still feel the sadness now that I remember it. Even after all this time. Laugh when you feel like crying, and press on when you feel like giving up. That's how you survive out on the ocean. Anyway, thank you for helping me remember all of this. Thank you kindly. I'm afraid, though, that they seem to have taken most of the treasure with them when they left. Yeah! In a way, all the things you sensed really were invaluable treasures. To you, at least. Hi, it's true. Tis a shame I can't repay your kindness. As a ship, there's only so much I can do. But, um, in the future, if I ever need your help again... We'll be here for you whenever you need us, Mitaboru. Right? Hmm. Yeah. Fantastic! Thank you both. And if you ever voyage in these seas again, I will be your trusty companion. Yeah, that's it. 